Welcome to Cebu. We actually are very unsure how to pronounce that because we've like been talking to a bunch of locals and every single person pronounces it differently. So that's just how I'm gonna say it. We arrived here from Manila yesterday. We took a very, very easy flight, only like an hour, landed here, took a grab to our hotel, and now we are gonna explore the city and go to a beach later today. We took a taxi to Fort San Pedro. It is a Spanish fortress from the 1700s. Uh, I saw online that it was open today, but it appears like it might be closed, but we're unsure about that because we keep seeing people go in and out of the building. It is a bummer that it is closed today, but honestly, the view from the outside is still super, super pretty. So I can only imagine what the inside would look like, but I'm still glad we came because we got to see it and that's cool. And there's these little like gardens kind of park area that we can walk around. So I guess we'll do that for a while. Yeah, and there's like a few other things that we might want to see it. We wouldn't have had time to do them if the fort was open and we went inside, but maybe we can do them now. Well, behind me is the statue of Andres Bonifacio. He was somebody who led the rebellion against the Spanish to help unite all of the Filipino people and get their country back. I got all that information from the plaque. I had to Google translate it from Filipino to English and that seems to be what it's talking about. <laughs> it is celebrating the Philippines independence from the Spanish and it's very pretty. I'm laughing because there is so many like teenagers doing TikTok dances like on all of the corners. Like everyone's filming themselves and they're in little groups and it's kind of funny and cute. This is a pretty sizable park and it looks nice with all the bushes and the flowers and the trees and some of the structures they have like this one with a heart. And over here is a giant plaque for a Japanese and Filipino memorial basically saying like all the wars that happened in the past let's just move towards peace. walked like five minutes down the road and now we are at Magellan's Cross. I actually didn't even know this was here. Jacob just told me about it. There is a lot of people trying to sell us stuff here. Just gotta say no, and walk away. So I guess we're gonna go try to find the cross or is it a church? I have no idea. So this is telling us that Magellan explored and found the Philippines in the 1500s and so I guess that's why his cross is over here. Okay, so to be honest, we are a little bit unclear of what this guy did. First we thought he like kind of found the Philippines, then we thought he brought Catholicism here. The Google Translate on our phone when we take pictures of the like plaques isn't translating that well, but either way, it looks cool and it's very pretty and there's a lot of people around me right now, so I feel nervous. <laughs> Okay, well at least we know why this cross is famous. This cross right here encases the original cross that Magellan brought here right on this spot. So that's pretty crazy actually. And right next to this monument, there's a little sign that says entrance and exit. So we're just gonna go explore that place. Well, we were gonna go in it, but it says no shorts and sleeveless shirts allowed. And I don't have sleeves and I'm wearing shorts. So I guess we're on to the next stop, which I'm actually most excited about. in a quick grab and now we are at the ocean park. Let's see some sea creatures. It looks really nice here. I legitimately, have you ever been to an aquarium? Yeah, a couple times, I think, I think like a long time ago. I can only think of one that I went to like eight years ago. So I'm like really excited to see what it's like. Since we're here on a weekend, the prices were close to $15 per person. If we were here on a weekday, it might be closer to 10, but oh well free photo booth let's do it that was so cute normally when you go into a place like this or like a zoo they take your picture but then you have to pay for it here they take it and you get it for free online I feel like that's so nice I've literally never had that happen to me before ever in any country well maybe I'll see you on the other side Jacob <laughs> you can't come with me I'm going to the right <laughs> there you go <laughs> thanks <laughs> oh thank you Oh, whoa, right away. 
there's already a bird and a wow, very that's... loud bird and a little crocodile. All he right. wants to be the star of the show. Jenny just went through these chains and said, whoa, so let's see what's here. Oh, that's cool. These fish are seriously massive. If I saw this in the ocean, oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like a shark. What? I would pee my pants if I saw these in the ocean. <laughs> that's crazy. They're oh, huge. there's another one. It's like a catfish shark. Look at that guy. That guy is huge. To give you some kind of reference, these fish are probably like from my head to like, maybe not really my knees, like my thighs, like they're massive. Oh, this guy's freaky. So this giant one that we keep filming, the one that's just staying on top, it is the giant arapaima. And it can get up to nine feet long. That's so. terrifying. Yeah, I don't want to meet that in the wild. <laughs> Our pictures are already up there Aww. online. Where are you? There you are. Oh. You want to scare it? No. Oh, so it puffs up? Yeah. <laughs> also, we've been like hitting our head with these the whole time. Kind of makes you feel like you're in the jungle. It's fun. I thought the pink and the yellow ones looked cool, and then this one. What? Never seen a hedgehog before. It's so cute. It's just crazy there's a Burmese python here. It said that they get up to six meters long. So is that like almost 20 feet? <gasps> it's so insane. But I read that they're non-venomous, so if they bite you, then you're fine, I guess. Well, it'd probably still hurt a lot. Those birds are on the people. That freaks me out. Well, this place is loud from all the birds, but it is so cool to see all the colorful, they're parrots, right? Ah, uh, really? Maybe. <laughs> they're just in the trees. Wow, this is a fun little place. I thought we were just going to go inside, but then we came here. This little guy is my favorite right here. He's so cute. Wow, this is so much bigger than I thought, and it looks like we're about to enter some air conditioning. Woo! Praise the Lord. Actually getting in and out was way harder than I expected. <laughs> I'm like crawling on my knees. This area is the Pacific Ocean fish. My favorite are the clownfish. And Jenny got to pose in there. And uh, now we're walking towards the Arctic Ocean section, which might be pretty cool. Jenny's over there getting some air conditioning. It says there's, I don't know if we'll actually see them, but it says polar bear, narwhal, seals. Wow. Oh, the wall was just giving us information on the Arctic Ocean, but. We're not going to see any polar bears. There is a whale shark on this wall and you can swim with them here in the Philippines. We've actually already swam with them in Thailand and in Mexico so we probably won't do it here but it's just really fun like seeing all the animals that we've seen while we're like scuba diving or snorkeling and then like seeing them here. I just kind of feel cool because I'm like yeah I've been in the ocean with them. We made it to the touch pool. <laughs> There's sea cucumbers and starfish. Just says uh, with the sea cucumbers, you gotta touch them, but don't squeeze them. <laughs> and don't bring the starfish outside of the water because they die. Oh, you're moving them. It said you can touch them and move them, just don't pick them out of the water. Jacob, look at Eagle Ray. Whoa. I've always wanted to snorkel with an Eagle Ray. We haven't yet, but it really just makes me want to be in the water with them if I'm being honest. Oh, look at this big guy. That croc is huge. Huge! This place is way bigger than I thought it was going to be and now I'm kind of obsessed with spotted eagle rays and we need to find somewhere to swim with them in the wild. This is the fish spot. The fish are munching on their feet. <laughs> that is wild. That's such a popular thing to do. I did not know they had it here though. I think this is the one that we saw out of the water up there and then we just came down the stairs and it's just swimming around. I'd say it's probably seven feet long. At least. That was honestly so cool. You can still see a little bit of its tail. It went like right over our heads. Those things are absolutely terrifying. This is the part I've been waiting for. 
It's like we're in the Maldives at that one hotel, right? This is so cool! Too, where you're like enclosed in the water and then the jellyfish because they're like changing colors you can see their tentacles moving this is so insanely cool yeah i think it'd be fun here to just stare at the jellyfish for hours but we got to keep moving with our day that was really fun and now we are headed to the mall which is right across the street conveniently we decided to come to this sm seaside city mall because we like the sm malls in manila when we check them out and now it's like, okay, well, let's go get some more air conditioning over here and see what's here. This place is really nice. There's so many stores, so many restaurants. It looks like there's at least four levels. The malls in the Philippines are intense, man. They're huge. We found the perfect place to eat. We are at Chow King. We asked our Grab driver, like what you would recommend to eat. And this was the place it is mixed with like Chinese food and Filipino food. So we got some pretty good dishes to try and it's not too expensive. We saw this chain everywhere while we were in Manila and then coming to Cebu, we're also seeing it so many places. So this just felt like the right time to try it. There we go. We got some chicken, right? That's what you ordered, sweet and sour chicken and some noodles. I love that everywhere in the Philippines they give you your rice in this little like packet. It's so cute. I'll give this a try. I'll try a little bit of rice with the chicken. The flavor is really, really good. The chicken is super crunchy, not very soft, but I did get a small piece, so this one might be better. Yeah, this is super solid. I guess we'll just try Jacob's while I'm at it. Oh, thank you. It kind of tastes like soy sauce on noodles, but honestly, it's pretty good. It's very basic, I think, but I still like it. Since it's been so hot, we decided to get a halo halo. We might not be saying that right, because when they said it, it did not sound like that. But it's just got so much in here. I'm just excited for the ice. This is like my favorite treat here in the Philippines. That mall was honestly so big. They had an ice skating rink, a bowling rink. We went to a supermarket and got some food. We just put it in our bag. It was huge and now we are taking a grab back to our hotel and we are going to the beach and I'm so excited about it. After our 40 minute taxi, we've made our way back to our hotel that we're paying $46 a night for and it has its own private beach. It's not the biggest beach in the world, but it'll do and there's like nobody else here, so it's great. The tide was all the way up to here when know, we left. I was noticing that. I was like the water is way further back than when we checked it out last night. Are we getting in? <laughs> it's honestly a little bit chilly it is a little teeny bit chilly i guess i can feel the water at least there is a lot of people swimming over here we're kind of just enjoying the beautiful sunset i will say the low tide is kind of throwing me off because i like the water doesn't look the best because it's so low there's a few pieces of trash in it so i think we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the beautiful sunset it is really fun to see these boats here though i think they're like the traditional filipino boats where it's like kind of like a kayak but then it has like two like arms on either side and it like balances you it's really cool and and honestly the temperature is perfect right now we were sweating all day and right now the sun's down we're just watching sunset and it feels so good we were just watching people go out there and swim but 
right now the water is so low because of the low tide everyone's like so far out there you can see those people but they're just walking but they're like so far away and it looks really funny we still have a few more philippines videos coming so make sure that you subscribe and we will see you in those ones